Hey man, what's good, YouTube family, man? This your guy, DJ Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Swifty Blue is in a bit of a little situation. He got a lot of people mad and talking right now for words he said about black hip hop, because I don't think he was taking it as what people think it was, but we got to put it all out there and listen to my opinion and I can hear yours in the comment sections. You feel me? I'm gonna break it down, but before I get to the video of him saying what he said on the, the Kevo show, we gotta actually, you feel me, rock with my bro right quick, B Wick, who got an outstanding video. It's a 30 second video. Let's rock with it. Uh, Hurdy rappers won't be ha ha. Joke. Whoever thought I fell off, man, y'all smoking on some good dope. Blowing in, spitting 16s, that's a football. Got it out the mud, but keeping clean like some good soap. You ever heard of a real street nigga that told? Nope, me neither, that's why I stick to the cold. Ain't no click hopping wick, I'ma stick with the bros. Why I pull a whole zip when I get lit with a foe? Why I cry about a bitch, say my tears for the dough? If I ever take a loss, hustle up, get some more. Can't forget about them times I was down bad and broke. Promise I'd never switch, and I put that on my soul chef wick got my cookbook whipping in the boat now i'm gonna play his video where he said the words that made a lot of people well i don't know if it was a lot of people but i know on the internet it was a lot of back and forth and, and people basically speaking on how they feel and it's like this we're gonna we're gonna negotiate the terms we're gonna make sure that it's like we we have it's like 50 50 control type shit it, we're not gonna um we're not gonna give somebody else, let alone another race, full control. Okay. That's what it comes down to. But you, but but you get what I'm saying? Like it's not no disrespect, but it's just more like it just sounds we, crazy. It out does loud. sound crazy. It sounds a little racist. But you know what? You know what? It though? sounds a lot of racist. No, but you know what? <laughs> I, I'm just being honest. I'm being real. I'm being real. Like I'd rather go sign with like, <laughs> even though you think, even though you like you might hear crazy shit, but I'd rather go sign with like a, a corrido label or something, you know, like some. I, I'm gonna keep it to the roots. I'm. You hear what I'm saying? Like if if they wasn't fucking us with us back then, why they fucking with us now? Because now we breaking in, we doing shit. Now they gonna wanna sign us? Yeah, of right, course. Right, fuck right. all that. Now nah, we gonna stick. We gonna do what we know best. You know what I'm saying? Now he got a little bit more words where he clarified a, a few things. I'm gonna get to that right now where he was speaking to one of the bros and he went in a little bit more on that situation. Fuck what I said. I didn't show him by my actions. I didn't show him by the fundraisers, by the food drives, by the backpack, by the things we've done for the hood. And we're gonna continue doing them for the hood. You get what I'm saying? My actions, yeah. volumes, fuck words. Word, you know, fuck words. Words don't mean shit. Actions do. Actions mean everything. And you know what I'm saying? My actions. I'll put the links of both those videos in the description box or the comment section. I didn't want to play the whole thing for obvious reasons. And a lot of people are mad, so I want to just get to it. First of all, me, per se, I got no issues with what he said. Now, before you get emotional, I expect the ones who ain't grown men and women to get mad and listen to those little words I said and lose their minds. Let's wait three seconds so those people could get out the room and get out the video. Okay, now let's have the grown conversations that people kind of sweep under the rug and don't want to have. First of all, I've seen Swifty Blue around many black artists for a lot of years now. He's been genuine, he ain't been fake, and this is way before Kodak Black did his little, you know, songs and, and affiliations with them or whatever. It's just being honest with you. You say, let's have an honest talk. Now, just because you do songs with black people or black people do with Mexican, it does not mean you don't think some type of hatred towards a group. I'm not saying that. I'm just breaking it down and we putting facts on facts. Let's get that out the way and focus on what Swifty Blue said. He said he doesn't want to sign the any other um you know record labels or basically he doesn't want to sign to any blacks he want to sign to you know the carnals in them man you know his people his asas you feel me and let me get this part out the way uh, to a lot of people both mexicans and black folks out here if you don't know the serenos you know they had a, a lot of black members and I'm, i don't know why people don't do their homework on history maybe because i'm an older dude i just look young to a lot of y'all but 
black and brown, I'm a definition of black and brown, but at the same time, I'm not going to use that to be biased nor way too opinionated. Let's stay on the facts. I'm just throwing it out there. It's not this war that everybody think is going on. There is beef between both communities. I ain't a, no fake dude. I don't fake it. And in both groups in the, those communities, we got a certain, you know, and, and another one might have more of a hatred for the other. It is what it is. That ain't what I'm on right now. I'm on on what he said. He doesn't want to sign to no other people than his people only. And a lot of times because he got effed over on deals and he got into that. He said that. And it's not like I ain't never seen it before. That's why I got to salute dudes like, you feel me, Sauce Walker. He got peso peso and obviously peso peso is eating. I know a lot of these rappers be capping, but it's something genuine about Sauce Walker that I can't even hate, man. You can see it, bro. He really do want to get other people to shine. Of course, he making his bread, too, but you can see it's a good deal because I got family in Texas, and y'all already know what I always tell y'all. Texas and, and California politics ain't the same. You got black and brown over there. They get along very well. You might have certain pockets where they don't, but just like anywhere else around the world. Now, for people to get angry at what Swifty Blue said, I got to ask you a question. Why, instead of getting mad at him, why don't you think the same way? Because you don't have to say what Swifty Blue said and have hatred in your heart while saying it. Two could be the same thing, but it can also really mean the man really do have pride for his folks, his, you feel me, community or whatever. What's wrong with that? Man, I'm unapologetically black. I don't make excuses about it. I don't, nah, bro, I'm, I am what I am, bro. I'm that first before any flag or before any country my mom and dad are from. I'm this first. And I got that melanated pride in me. It don't need to be explained. I don't talk about issues within Mexicans and blacks already. I'm like the first to do that. I'm not about to get into none of that. We know people who don't have a mind where they can think for themselves. You're already going to dislike the video. You're already going to call me, what's the word, a cool and a sellout, even though I'm more thorough than you, but you're going to call me all these weird bro because you're an emotional dude or emotional female going through a tantrum. We got way more important politics in our communities alone to take care of first before worrying about somebody else for having their own racial pride. What's wrong with that? He didn't say any hatred or, or anything like that towards black people or anything like that. It's like, damn, bro, are we... Look, I'm not acting like we aren't suffering or aren't being, you know, in certain predicaments where it could be seen as being oppressed. Y'all know I'm not going against the grain and saying that. But everything don't have to turn you into a victim. That's all I'm saying, gang. Like, like I under you're going to give me with reparations and all that. I believe you guys do own it. Like, if you have the lineage of people on this foundation of United States of America or actually habitat on this because we know black folks already been living in in the americas all south and north but i'm not going to get into that because people are very disingenuous you're not going to have an open conversation so let's fast forward so i, I believe in all that with ados or fba or even the caribbeans or even people from africa that's why i don't get into politics because this is always first in my eyes i always focus on this i don't get into all the other so you can't call me this and that I'm looking at folks who don't want to have a certain pride in them. That's why it's easy to hate me or hate your own brothers or people who look like you. It's easy to spill things. If you look all over the Internet, it's us doxing each other. I don't do that garbage, but dudes is doxing people's kids, family. Like It's like a, a, a poison, bruh. Why don't you think the same way? A lot of us do. A lot of us be like, we don't want certain Europeans record deals with them because they're going to give 360 deals so you go to your own brother and get signed to him or whatever. And a lot of times our own brothers be giving us the same 360 deals that the Western folks uh, and Europeans give to the artists. So I don't see anything wrong with that. He even gave a traditional... Uh, um, Mexican music, a record company that he wouldn't even mind signing to. That's how deep it is for him. Now, one thing people might be opinionated on when he said they link up with the woods in prison. Being that I only got locked up in jail different occasions, less than a week each time, I, I can't speak on prison politics, you feel me? Or even jail politics, because even though I've been arrested multiple times for dumb shit, I don't consider those as makes me a guy that can explain that. So I stay out of that part. I feel like that's more for people who's been locked up 
for a whole lot of said so years or whatever, they can go into the politics. People like S Bone, because he's from Cali and all that. You know, dudes who got that veteran status per se. I, I can't speak on Woods linking up with Mexicans versus blacks. It seems like a, a, a in-house thing. You know what I mean? A lot of bloggers want to get into that. And it's like, you ain't never even did a day in, in jail. Not that I'm glorifying that, but it's very strange. You're very opinion, opinionated on a subject that you don't even understand or know about. So I'm just sticking to what people are looking at, the race part of it. I don't even like getting into that because I feel like any change for a movement or community, it's not gonna goddamn be done on no internet or no television show. I thought they told us the revolution would not be televised. So I'm not trying to see all these pro wannabe Dr. Kings and wannabe Malcolms all over the internet, but where were you this whole time we've been on the internet? Where And where's your work? My work is already out here, and I never joviate about my work. Most people know what I do behind the scenes and what I've been doing on YouTube for 10 years plus or whatever. Help in different channels. This channel alone is not even five years yet. No, nah, not at all. But you feel me? Not to toot my own horn. I've been building, and a lot of people have been building. But to use that as a way to look for every little thing that's being said is wild to me. It's wild. We can't make everything turn us into some type of victim, bro. Because there are real issues, like y'all like y'all probably saying to me in the comments right now, there's real is issues that I agree with. But the more you pay attention to tick for tack, how is that warranted to pay attention to what's coming in the near future or that we need now in the present time? You feel me? Look, because at the end of the day, what WAC 100 said, I didn't even say if I agree or disagree. It's just not my business. WAC 100 said he'll never sign one of the bros from Southern Cal and all that, basically the Mexicans. And I wanted to say something slick to WAC, and then another side of me wanted to almost agree, but then it was like, I'm not WAC 100 just because we shared this what he said might stand for him more because how I grew up with black and brown been cool with each other. Now, other Hispanics and Latin communities have been, you know, very, very racist. I ain't going to lie, educational purpose. But just like I tend to flow what I got to pay attention to and can control, that's what I do. I'm not professing to be a savior, but I do stand for pride in, in who we are first. And if any, anybody else want to do that, why? That's like my Cuban friends. You feel me? I'm real cool with them when they have their little celebrations. It's like me going there and getting mad with them. And I'm not going to do that. I, in fact, I embrace their celebration of who they are, where they come from. Just like the, the ones I hang with, they, they respect my celebrations and what I, you know, like promoting versus who I am. You feel me? Like, come on, man. Like, at the end of the day, I, I, I don't know how to make this bigger than what it is, man. I spoke on the American Cholo situation. Where were you haters to give me my cool points for it? I kept it a stack. I even said something against the No Jumper platform, and y'all know I rock with the No Jumper platform. That's how you know I'm an honest dude. I don't have no biased opinions. You just getting it is and how, it, how it's coming from me. That's it. Everything ain't made for you to have a tantrum, to pick up the damn picket signs and be like, oh, we're against, like, what was really said? In, high, in hindsight, pay attention to it. Now, you have a right if you want to take from it and think, you know, Swifty Blue has very racial tendencies or whatever. But my thing is, I think everybody have racial tendencies. It's when you use those racial tendencies to belittle another group of people, to subjugate them to subservitude, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, or get that group of people and push them more down in the process of life, bro. Like, but if you're merely using that racial tendency to big yourself up in your community, like what's wrong with that? I need somebody to tell me. You don't I don't want, man, I'm trying to articulate. You're not exhibiting a hatred for another group of people. You're just merely saying, this why I wouldn't sign, and you're explaining it. Now, whether people want to believe he's cool or not, that's on them. I'm not trying to swear or change people's opinion. I'm trying to tell you why the people who hit me up and said respond it is, because I don't want, like, bro, like, just because I responded to the American Cholo situation, I made sure in that whole video to say it's always going to be black and brown love. But I think a lot of people seen what I said about American Cholo, not Mexicans. Y'all think it's, I'm, I'm some type of channel that is just looking for Mexican people who say things about, but, bro, that would, that, that, bro, a lot of 
people say bad things about us. I'm not about to waste my time looking for what words are doing, bro. I look for the actions. I look for what's actually contributing to our downfall. What a motherfucker, motherfucker want to think, I just let them be. That ain't me. And if I can discern it and, and dissect it properly, and if I can see, oh, this dude is really being slick to us, and all right, I'm going to be like, fuck him. But if I could take it, I'm like, ah, right, this dude is just prideful. What's wrong with that? I wish more of us exhibit that pridefulness, because a lot of you dudes who want to call me to sell out, me the raccoon and all that, y'all don't exhibit y'all pride. Y'all put your heads down. Y'all cry about every little thing instead of wearing it like a chest of armor, war armor, that is. You feel me? A warrior spirit. You walk here with your head lingering and act like you some type of pushing around bag. That's crazy, gang. That's crazy to me. So, look, I'm going to fall back and just say salute to everybody on both sides of perspective. You know what I mean? But what's being said as far as pridefulness should never be taken as something as your downfall or somebody belittling you, somebody is saying something condescending to you. This person is opening himself, opening themselves up and letting you know what his politics is as far as signing his contracts and what he want to do it like. He want to just keep it on the last side only, bro. What's wrong with that? A lot of you niggas should keep it in-house too, and y'all don't. <laughs> Any European that come through, y'all already signed that thing over with. Pause, you feel me? That's factual. I mean, the rest is what it is, man. Look, man, you either rocking with me or you ain't, man. Look, my name is DJ Bless One, man. Love your family, love your kids, and always remember, stay blessed. I know you hear the planes outside. Man, stay blessings all of y'all, man. Peace.